One is a partition of a set. For this lesson, we will learn what is a partition of a set. According to John B. Fredline book, definition 0 0.16, a partition of a set S is a collection of non-empty subset of S. Every element of S is in exactly one of the subsets. So here is a diagram representing a set. Now I have divided the set into four subsets of different color. Yellow, right, green, blue, light blue, and earth. So if I pick an element in a set, let's say I pick an element in the set, see somewhere here, then you'll find that this element belongs to the blue subset, right? It's not belong to blue and green, just one of the subset only. This is what they mean that every element, every element of S is in exactly one of the subset. Okay. And what are the example of partition? One of the example a partition of a set will be let's say S is a set of positive integer Z plus which consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Now in this case, I can partition the set of positive integer into two subsets. One set consists of all the odd number. Let's see, all these are odd number. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. And another set consists of all the even number. Zero, no, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So, in this case, these two subsets are destroyed. Okay, and if you pick any one number, you'll find that the number will either inside the green part or inside the blue part. Now, these two subsets, okay, one, one, of, one of that consists of all the odd positive integer. And another one consists of all the even positive integer. These are called cells. So there are two cells in this uh, partition. Now, how do we name the cell? For example, the cell contains 14. Then we will write a bar under 14 represent the cell contains 14. And they are consisting of the element 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16 18, and so on. Now, in this case, the naming you will find that is not unique. What does it mean? It means the cell containing 2 is actually, in this case, you write 2 with a bar on top there. This consists of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. In fact, the cell containing 2 and the cell containing 14 are, are the same cell. Let's look at another example of a partition here. I partition the set into three set of positive integer into three subset now. The first one is 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, and so on. And the second one is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, and 23, and so on. And the third one is 3, 6, 9, 7, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24, and so on. So what are the, actually, this cell consists of? First one is actually all the number where if you divide the number by 3, the remainder is 1. So in this case, all the number inside there has remainder 1 when it is divided by 3. Whereas, in the yellow cell, all the number inside there has remainder 2 when divided by 3. Then all those numbers in the green cell, you'll find that if you divide this number by 3, you have remainder 0 when divided by 3. In 
this case, there are three cells inside here. In general, for a set of positive integer, you can partition Z plus into N cell according to whether the remainder is 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to N minus 1, when this positive integer is divided by N. For example, here is a partition where you divide the set, pick up the set into four parts. All those, the yellow part will be, all those numbers have a remainder of 1 when it's divided by 4. Right? Now all this green part here will have a remainder 2 when it's divided by 4. And this blue part here, all this number when it's divided by 4, you get a remainder of 3. And finally, for 8, 12, 16, and 20, all this number, when it's divided by 4, remainder is 0. There are 4 cells there. Now these cells will have a name. We call it the residue class modulo n. In this case, n is equal to 4. So we call this residue class modulo 4.